Consider tangent theta equals square root of 3, where theta is between 0 and 360 degrees. In which quadrant might the terminal angle of theta lie? Well, first of all, notice that tangent is positive, And you need to know this acronym called All Students Take Calculus. So what this says is, in the first quadrant, everything, all six trig functions are positive. So that includes tangent as well. In the second quadrant, only sine and cosecant are positive. In the third quadrant, only tangent is positive. And in the last quadrant, only cosine or secant are positive. So for our specific problem here, we only have to consider the first and the third quadrant. The other two quadrants, tangent is negative. So if they want us to provide a sketch, you would just show that, well, x and y are positive here, and here x and y are negative, so tangent is, think of it as our y over our x, which is a negative over a negative will make us a positive, and here tangent is y over x, since they're both positive, a positive over a positive is positive. Now for part B, we want to determine possible values for theta. Well, the key to solving this is to rewrite the square root of 3 as follows. So we can write this as a fraction, so a fraction over a fraction. Square root of 3 over 2 well, first, let's write it this way. Let's say square root of 3 is equal to square root of 3 over 1. This we know for sure is true. Now, we're going to put a 2 in the denominator for both of these. So, this is also true, because all you're doing is dividing by 2, top and the bottom. So, that turns into square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half. And so think of this as the top part is just sine of theta and the bottom part is cosine theta. Now, we can have two cases where they're both positive, being in quadrant 1, or both negative, being in quadrant 3. Well, it's easy to get quadrant 1 because if we use a unit circle, we see at pi over 3, it's 1 half comma root 3 over 2. Sine is the y value, that's root 3 over 2. Cosine is the x value, that's 1 half. Now you want to find the other angle here. And you know that it's going to be of the form pi over 3. That's one of the advantages of using radians. All multiples of pi over 3, like not every specific, but like pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, etc. Skipping over like pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. We'll have the form 1 half comma root 3 over 2. But the only difference will be the sign. In this case, it's going to be negative. So with that said, you need to find the angle that is the right form pi over 3. And that's going to be... 4 pi over 3. So our answer one in terms of degrees, this is going to be 60 degrees. And well, we know that this part is 60, so this part also has to be 60. And this whole thing is 180 degrees. So it's 180 plus 60, that's 240 degrees. So 60 and 240 degrees is our answer.